First of all, what did bring you to coaching? I, I'd always, you know, I'd, I'd read uh, Stephen Covey, I'd read Anthony Robbins, and um, they're great. You know, I, I really liked, you know, reading them, but I found I was just reading them. Mm -hmm. And what I saw is I needed, I needed the space mm -hmm. to explore the entrepreneurial side of myself. And also I needed accountability. Uh, when I was reading Stephen Covey, yeah, he wasn't there on the other line saying, you know, Adam, you know, make sure you, you follow through. Right. So that's really those two things I was looking for. You and I talked on the phone. There was the talking, then there was the homework, mm -hmm. and, and then there was the thinking about the homework, mm -hmm. <laughs> which, which was a very important part, actually. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, I'd, uh, you, you'd send me an email or I'd write it down, you know, whatever. So I, I knew what it was. And then there was the whole, I mean, it's, it's the whole process. Okay, I'm thinking, what am I going to do with that homework? And, um, and, then, and then actually talking through either whether I did the homework or not, um, and the results of, of what, I, what I came up with. Yeah. And, and it, was, it was, in each, each step was a small step for sure. Yeah. And, but over, over a span of six months, you got, you know, two or three small steps a month, that's a lot of steps. A lot of steps. Well, I got both what I was looking for. I, I, I got the space yeah. to actually try on the mantle of entrepreneurship. I, I've been an entrepreneur most of my life, but uh, I've been working for another company for about three, four years, and I was I was hesitant to go out mm -hmm. and do it again. Mm -hmm. I was, there was fear, there was you know, a number of things. Right. And what it did, did is gave me a little dry run of, you know, trying it on, seeing how it felt, and um, that's that's what it did. Yeah, and and if you said that there was one maybe unexpected bonus you got as a result of doing this, the unexpected bonus for me was when I when I mentioned about the not doing. Yeah, and it gave me a new tool of mm -hmm. when I don't do things instead of just beat myself over the head saying Adam, how come you didn't do this here. A loser, you know, all the stuff that yes. our minds do. Yes. I, I can now look at that and go, oh, what? So what? What about this? Do I not want to do? Why is it? Where am I going? What, you know, what's happening? Right. So it, it, the the whole process gave me um, really more self introspective tools mm -hmm. um, on the entrepreneurial level. The main fear was that I was going to spend the time and money, and put my neck out and have everyone around me know that I'm spending this time and money. I would look at myself and say, what have I done? My friends, my family would say, what have you done? Yeah. And when I put that fear aside, yeah. then, then I was able to move forward and work with you. At the time, I was working for someone else and I started a business on the side. And um, you know that was that was the the mini step, right? And then actually, I've been on my own now for six months. Yeah. And uh, in a bad economy, I'm still doing well. I know, love so, that. It's yeah. just so fantastic. So, Adam, thank you so much for agreeing to come and chat with me on the camera here about your experience with coaching. Oh, it's my pleasure.